today I am going to be reviewing my new bike, the Narco Fluid 3 Plus Hardtail. That's a long time. Um, I just got it, which um, you would have seen the last video that I posted, which was me going to look for it. And I wasn't expecting to get a new bike that day, but I got a new bike that day. And this is the bike I got. I didn't show I showed it in that video, but I didn't say that that was the one I'm getting. Um, but yeah. Today I'm going to be going over it. I've had it for a week now, even though this is one vlog after that, but um, I'm going to go over everything it has, how it rides, and yeah. So the first thing I want to say is it is my old bike, I had regular brakes, and the pedals fell off. My pedal just fell off. I crossed this road, and then it fell off. And the tires were super skinny. The Marco 3 Fluid, let's just call it the, uh, my new bike. Because <laughs> that's a really long name to keep saying. But, so it's a semi-fat bike, which means it's in between a normal mountain bike tire and a fat bike. So, um, yeah. It gives you a lot more grip, but I don't have a lot more grip right now because my tires are really pumped up which helps you go faster on like cement and stuff, but you have a lot less grip on dirt. So that's the first thing. The second thing is it has hydraulic disc brakes, which means that it brakes really well because it, it's the same brakes as a car has basically, where there's fluid in the brakes instead of using a cable or, um, yeah, and they're disc brakes. So, like they grab better, so even if your brakes are wet, they still work really well. So yeah, cars also use that, which is why, because they work a lot better than normal brakes. And I got, for $200, I got a um, dropper post, which is very useful for climbing hills and stuff, because like when you're going off jumps and stuff, you don't want to hit your butt off the seat when you land, so you can lower the seat for that by sitting on it, and then to raise it, you just press the button and it automatically raises, which is just like a desk chair, which is very helpful. And the next thing I want to say is that this bike is a one by, which means, uh, I have a cold, which means, I think I already said that, but anyways, a one by means that it has one gear in the front and all the rest are in the back, so it still has the same amount of range as a bike with gears in the front, except they're all in the back, which gives me room to put the switch to put the dropper poster it is. I forgot to ask the guy at the bike shop if you can go tubeless, but um, yeah, I don't know if you can go tubeless or not. You might be able to, but I don't know. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first video like this <clears throat> and I'm doing it with a cold and I can barely talk because um, usually I do vlogs but I'm going to start doing more biking videos and it's summer so I will be able to make lots of videos which is great and um, yeah I hope this helped you remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video